Hey there, thanks for joining me for Hey there, thanks for joining me for another guitar lesson video. My name is Gareth, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to play a pretty simple arrangement of a great a classic gospel tune, Wayfaring Stranger. Uh, this is my own arrangement, and I uh, hope you enjoy it, and let's get started. So first, a few general thoughts on my arrangement of Wayfaring Stranger. Uh, first of all, we are in an open tuning, actually in open uh, G minor. In the performance video at the beginning of this um, lesson, I am actually tuned down a half step from there, so I'm sort of G flat minor. It's just a little better for my voice to sing it there, but I'm tuned back up to pitch. Um, 
an open G minor. So let me uh, show you how to get there. So from, uh, from standard tuning, you would drop your E down to a D. You would drop your A down to a G. Keep your G. Sorry, yep. Keep your D here. Keep your G. Drop your B down to a B flat and drop your E down to a D. So D, G, D, G, B flat, D. So that's the tuning. Um, I am using a slide. Um, I, I wear the slide on my, my left hand ring finger. Um, a lot of people prefer to do it on their pinky. And honestly, if you're starting from scratch, I would say, Get used to doing it on your pinky. It just frees up an extra finger to do some to fret some notes, which can be helpful. Um, I'm sort of too invested in doing it this way to change, so that's just the way it is. Um, I want to talk a little bit about some right hand technique. Um, I don't use any picks, finger picks, or anything. I don't have long fingernails. I just use the flesh of my fingers. Uh, it's just easiest for me that way. Um, but you might like to use finger picks or grow your fingernails or anything that, like that, uh, that a lot of people do. Um, so just a little technique here, uh, and this is really similar to some of my other videos where I'm doing some Robert Johnson songs. I talk about kind of splitting the guitar into two halves and your bottom three strings are kind of your bass and your drums. And it's just, you want a really percussive sound out of it. And the way you get that is by muting with your palm. But you want your top three strings to ring out because we're gonna play licks and whatnot um, on those three strings. So you just kind of got to get the angle of your palm right to do that. But it really sounds nice to have that really percussive, damp sound on the bass. You don't have to do it, but I, I think it gets a little muddy if you don't. So that's just a little technique thing to try to wrap your, your head and your hands around. Uh, so that's it for preliminaries. Um, I will show you how to play the intro in the next section. I'll show you how to play the uh, intro for a Wayfaring Stranger. Let me play it for you one time and then we'll talk about it. start the verse right there. So it's really quite easy. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just quoting a little bit of the melody. So that is just your open G, slide up to B flat on my uh, fourth string, third fret, up to my fifth string, fourth fret to a D, and then want to make sure that C note, I'm back on my fourth string G, tuned to G, and that is a uh, C natural. So that's just a little quote uh, from the melody. Um, couldn't be easier, you're just arpeggiating the minor triad, one, three, five, and then we're going to a four chord there, so we're playing um, the C note, the root of the four chord. And as you probably already caught on, I actually kind of play a whole chord when I get to that C. So I am, that C note is in there, but I'm also plucking this E above it on my fifth string, and I'm playing this C as a bass note on my second string, all at the fifth fret, just barring across with the slide. And I'm already right there after quoting a bit of melody, getting into the rhythmic feel, which is just a real simple four on the floor. Gonna play that really strong, damp, percussive bass. Um, and you can do that with the slide on the fret just as easily as you can do it on an open string. So again, um, sort of a downstroke with my thumb on this C note here and then kind of an upstroke with these two fingers on this C natural and an E flat. And then just 
quoting a bit of the melody again. This time I'm sliding up on my fifth string up to a D, down to a C natural, open B flat, and then B flat, A, G, uh, G open string. And then I'm going right into uh, what I'll call a little vamp that I do um, several times throughout the song. And actually it's all I'm really doing most of the time when I'm singing, whenever I'm on the one chord, the G minor. It's kind of a nice little groove. So again, four on the floor with my thumb using that damping technique. Then I'm gonna slide up to B flat. Open D, back to G. So again, I'm really just arpeggiating the, the one chord. And I'm plucking the same two strings I was plucking up here with my first two fingers. So that's a G and a B flat. A really fun little leg. And again, that, I'll call it a vamp. I do it between verses. It's also basically what I'm doing uh, while I'm singing on the one chord. So that's how to play the intro and the vamp. In this section, I'm gonna show you how to play the main rhythm um, while I'm singing or while you're singing. Um, so first of all, let's talk a little bit about the chord changes of the song. It, really couldn't be easier and actually I simplified it a bit in order to make it easier to play on slide um, where it's I didn't really want to be going back and forth between slide and fingering chords and and all that kind of stuff um, so I'm just playing three chords I'm just playing my one chord is a G minor I'm sliding up to the fifth fret to play a C minor and I'm sliding up to the seventh fret to play D minor as my five chord. Yeah, I know that usually when this song is played, it's a D major, um, but I think it sounds pretty cool. It's folk music, it works, um, and it's a lot easier. So that's what I'm doing is uh, just a D minor. So G minor, C minor, and D minor are the only three chords. Um, if you've played this song with other people, uh, a lot of times when you go to the chorus, um, I'm going there to see my mama and all that stuff. Um, some people call it a bridge. It actually goes to the relative major of E flat, um, relative major of, of the C chord, uh, E flat major, but instead I'm just gonna do the C minor again. So again, the bridge and uh, the, the verse and the chorus for the bridge, it's all just the same three chords, slightly different order as we'll see. So let's talk about that um, verse first. We already talked about the vamp. So you're gonna wanna keep that going. four and I'm picking the same notes I did in the intro I got my C in the bass on my fifth string and I got this uh, C on my fourth string and the E flat on my uh, fifth string and I'm kind of doing this rhythm with a steady four and the with a thumb then kind of this upbeat thing do da with my two fingers on those higher voices and I'm going to do the same thing when I go to D minor. So that's all for the verse. Uh, let me sing it one more time and play it, um, and then we'll talk about the chorus. Verse, 
let's go on to uh, the chorus, or again, some people call it a bridge. It goes, I'm going there to see my mama, and we're gonna go to the four chord there. We're keeping the rhythm just the same. I'm keeping that four on the, four on the floor with my thumb, with the palm muting, and I'm playing the same two strings as a higher voice. I'm going there. See my mom back to one. Up to four. Go in there. No more to roam. Five. Back to four. I am just going. And then this is back to uh, verse material. Over Jordan. I am just going. So that is the verse and the chorus. I'll do it one more time for you. I'm going to focus on the guitar playing. I think I'll just kind of lightly hum the melody so you know where you are. Um, but this would be a good opportunity also if you want to just like play along with me um, after you practiced uh, the constituent parts of the uh, rhythm a little bit. So one, two, three, four. I am a poor. how to play the rhythm for the uh, verse and the chorus. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to play the solo that I do. I actually do essentially the same thing twice. I do a verse, chorus, intro, verse, chorus, solo, verse, chorus, end the song on a solo. Um, I don't know, you might even want, not even want to call it a solo, it's more just like stating the melody uh, on the instrument. But anyway, I'll show you how to do it. Um, first of all, one little thing that I do the second time I go to the chorus, when I go, I'm going there to see my father. Oops. Just do a little slide right there. On the third up to the third up to the fifth fret on my third string. Uh, I think that's a really good spot to play some kind of little fill. Go in there. It goes to the four. See my father. Again, I do that, but you could do something up at the 12th fret. There's all kinds of things you could do. I think that'd be a nice little spot. To try to work out your own little fill. Anyway, I wanted just to show you that, and now let's get to the solo. So I finish up singing. So that is the solo. Um, so the most important thing is to keep that rhythm going. I think I've said this in some of my other videos. If you keep that steady, really just thunk, 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 four on the floor rhythm going, um, you can do a lot of, you can make a lot of mistakes. You can do a lot of things up in the higher voices as long as you just keep that real steady rhythm going. 
um, mm-hmm. really helps out a lot. So um, definitely that's probably the hardest thing is playing the melody. It's easy to play the bass by itself, obviously. It's just just quarter notes, right, with your thumb. Also pretty easy to play the melody. Getting the two parts together is a little bit of a challenge, but you'll get it. So all I'm doing is I'm just stating the melody um, up here around the 12th fret. So that is uh, my highest string on the 12th fret, 10th fret. Then I'm sliding B flat down to G on the uh, 12th fret again, uh, 5th string and 4th string. So that's the first lick. Of course, I'm doing it with the bass. So that's the first lick. Um, I think I varied a little bit the second time. Play around with that. As I said, so long as you keep that steady uh, rhythm going in the thumb, you can get away with a lot of stuff up in the higher voices. Um, but just stating the melody is always simple, always effective. So that's the first lick, uh, the first um, first line, and then we go. We're getting to the four, so we're still on one here. And again, I'm just at the 12th fret with my slide. I'm plucking this G at the 12th fret on my fourth string, and then up to the D. Again, with that steady uh, bass going. Then I pop down here, just the same thing I was doing earlier when I'm singing. I kind of do this sort of thing. Pretty simple. So keep that thumb going. Then I'm just plucking E flat C, F natural, D. Then the tune starts over again. Same look I showed you before, and then we're right back at the intro. So let's go with that whole uh, solo part again. One, two, three, four. It's just the same vamp we've been doing. And I'm just playing this uh, G note up on the fifth fret on my highest string. It's kind of a little Delta Blues lick. I think it sounds nice to end the song. So that is how to play my very easy version of Wayfaring Stranger and Open G Minor. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, my, my philosophy on guitar is that if I can do it, you can do it, because um, I'm really not that good. So. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I appreciate uh, appreciate it. Um, like and subscribe, please. Leave me a comment. Love to hear what you think. And please check out my band, uh, Winter Barn. We are available on all major streaming platforms. Thanks a lot. See you next time.